Hi guys, it's Rob here with another Unity tutorial. And today we're go going to be going over uh, public variables in Unity and one uh, special use that you could use them for. So if we right click here, go to create, and go to C Sharp script, and we'll name our new script, new script, this is just for illustration purposes. Now we're going to double click to open up Mono Develop. So we'll let that load there for a minute. And now Mono Develop should be coming up. And basically, what we're going to be doing today is using this to reference a game object without actually um, having to use the um, one of the components in the code. That without having to get the game object through the code, we're actually going to be able to drag it in in the inspector. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say public game object, and we'll call it go, right? And then we could do whatever we want to this game object. So down here, we don't ha we don't even have to initialize go. See, by putting public game object, now we'll save this. We're going to jump back here, and we're going to say create an empty game object. We'll take our new script and we'll attach it to that game object. And as you'll see here, we have a space to put go, our game object. And now what we could do, create another game object really quick, a cube. Okay, it came up parented, so we'll just unparent it. There we go. And now if we click here, what we could actually do is lock the inspector here. Now this is locked, so if we click on other components, the inspector doesn't change anymore to reflect that. Uh, and the reason we did that is so that it can make it easier for us to drag in this game object here. So we'll just drag our cube in as our game object. And sometimes it could be useful to use this little um, selection right here. If you click the little circle next to the game object name, you could see all these things come up. So now easily by just clicking these, right, these little selections, we can iterate through um, every game object in the scene. So this becomes really useful if you have a big scene. Uh, you'll notice that everything's alphabetical here except for none, which is always at the top. So that actually becomes quite useful uh, instead of having to find it, drag it, drop it. So that's just uh, that's a really useful way that you could use a uh, public variable to reference uh, something a game object that you would drag in the in the inspector. So you could imagine now uh, as we have you know all these other public game objects. So you know public game object, and let's say this is our light light one, and then public game object, right? Camera one, right? So now what we could do is when we go back here, oops, I don't think I saved. If we save it, it should update the changes in Unity. There we go. And now, so now what we could do is we could go, okay, light one, and, oh, and by the way, assets refers to any game objects in your assets. So let's say real quick, we just make this a prefab by dragging it, dropping it down here. Now we have a cube prefab. Now when I go here in assets, I do have my cube prefab there. Uh, but in the scene here, I could choose light, right, directional light. And now for camera one, I could choose main camera. See, so very quickly I was able to uh, make all of these, and I'll just put this back to cube. Now I have a reference to all these game objects, but I'm going to show you another neat trick, and I will cover this in another tutorial. We don't need a reference for a main camera like this. Uh, the way we reference our main camera, let's say we want to do something in update, we would say camera dot main, right? And the way that camera dot main works is it actually looks at our camera at the tag attached to a camera. And once we have this tagged main camera, now this will reference that main camera. And now we could say, you know, dot transform, dot translate. And then, you know, and then we can move that camera. So what we could do then is we would just have that reference there. So we don't even need this camera one right there, right? So that's another neat trick. So we could actually just set this to none. Right, so if, if we wanted if we wanted to reference camera one now, we could say game object, and then we could say camera one, and then down here we could say camera one equals camera dot main. Right there. 
Now we go back to here, we look. Okay, it's giving us an error. Let's save this real quick just to make sure. Oh, and that's because here we have a line that we didn't put semicolons or because I didn't finish that statement. That was just for illustration purposes. But now when I go back here, it should be should be good now. Uh, cannot explicitly convert Unity. Okay, so for this one, uh, we want to say oh yeah, camera. So you wouldn't say game object here. You just say camera. Because so so you could tell you could see how uh, it gave me an error there when I had this set to a game object. That's because I need to reference this as a camera. Come back in here, and we're all good. Okay, so that's just a way that you could use uh, public variables to make your life a lot easier in Unity. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you around in some other tutorials.